Hi Gemini, happy new year. Let's take a look and see what this month of January has in store for you. Important messages that you need to know. So I already pre-shoveled the cards, but I always like to give it another go just in case there are any jumpers that want to come out. So let's see, for Gemini, let's go ahead and get started for you, Gemini, as we look at the new year, the new month. Okay, let's see, what does Gemini need to know? So we're opening up here, let's see, we have Temperance. Temperance is coming in for you. Ooh, we have Hierophant. How did I know it was going to be a triple major arcana okay so we'll take a look at these energies before i um move them up but gemini i see that there is a way being made for you okay for some of you it's something that you've been waiting for for a while patiently maybe impatiently this had to be the right time it had to be perfect um you know situation with the perfect people with the perfect foundation but we do see a door opening, okay? There's approval coming in. There's a sense of connection that you are going to experience. Looking at the lovers, yes, sometimes we could see this literally as, you know, a love connection coming in here, waiting for the right partner, for the right love, for the right time, for changes. Uh, so for those that are single or looking for new love, you may find that January, you are going to come across someone that you've been waiting for, you know, the right type, the right personality, the right person. For those that are in a relationship, this is a month that some of you are going to take your romance to another level or your relationship to uh, another another level. Because again, I, I'm seeing keys here. So it could be opening up the doors to engagement, marriage, or possibly you and your partner are, are talking about taking your life in a new direction. Okay, something that you're both strongly connected to. Now, aside from love or love, you know, relationships in general, because some of you aren't interested in love, some of you don't have time for love, or love is not even on the radar, Gemini, this still applies because we see here that the universe is making way for something that you're absolutely going to be thrilled about, okay? You are just going to love this. I mean, when we see the lover energy, it's like the perfect pair. It's the perfect match, okay? It's like this match made in heaven, um, so to speak. So whether it's the ideal job, the ideal home, the ideal um, opportunities, you're going to um, find that what you are coming across is just what you were looking for, if not better. So we'll just shift these right here. Gemini, what else? Okay, these cards flip through. Another major arcana. So we're looking at the chariot. Very interesting because this is the year of the chariot. We see the chariot and the seven of pentacles coming in here. So again, this is showing that your path is pushing you forward. You're going in a direction that you have been waiting for. And you're, so, you're going to see that your efforts have slowly been building up to get you to where you're at to finally accelerate. When you look at the seven of pentacles, this person has been working on their garden for quite a while. Okay. This this energy does not happen overnight. You do not plant the seeds and expect to see the flowers bloom tomorrow. You have to be patient. You have to, some, for some of you Geminis, there's an experience that you needed to learn or a lesson that you needed to come across. Okay. Sometimes when we look back at the past, we wonder, you know, why didn't this happen? Or why wasn't I exposed to this? Or why didn't something go my way? It's possibly because you weren't ready. You know that expression, when the student is ready, the teacher appears. We see here with the Hierophants, like the teacher is appearing in this month. So for, for you, Gemini, with the Seven of Pentacles, what you have been working on, working towards, is getting you prepared for your chariot moment. You're ready to move. You're ready to go. You're ready to explore because you have been able to, you know, save up, save up financially, save up through experience, save up through your education or your knowledge or your wisdom. Okay. So look out for that for January. 
Gemini. Let's see what else is coming in here for you. I felt like there was something that wanted to come here on the end. And we look at the eight of the eight of swords. There's a lot of doubt that surrounds you. Doubt, insecurities. Um, the eight of swords is also a reflection of not realizing that the potential surrounds you. You just have to be open to see. And also, this is a reminder for you not to let other people's words or opinions keep you down or keep you back, okay? Because what you are thrown, you can use, okay? These swords are surrounding you figuratively, thinking it's, you, you thinking it's a barrier, thinking it's keeping you from going on in your path, like a blockage. But if you change your mindset, if you change your perspective, instead of seeing it as a barrier, you could see it as a resource, as equipment, as a tool to you know sharpen your skill. And when you use this tool, then you are bound, you know, you are um, released from what you thought you were bound from. You know, it's not in this situation, it's not who you know, but it's what you know, Gemini. What do you know? What can you um, take advantage of with some type of knowledge that now you're tapping into or that you realize? You know, the mind is a very powerful thing and it can keep us trapped or it can take us far in advancements. But being that we see here the chariot, I do see that some of you are pushing through pushing through obstacles or challenges that you may have faced and carrying on. Hmm. Let's see, Gemini. Let's see. What else do you need to know in this new month? You know, there's so many, so many major arcanas popping in here. This indicates that you are going to experience, oh wow, major, major, major changes. Look at this, double eights are coming in. And then um, let's, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven major arcanas. The phrase taking a chance just popped in my mind. Okay, some of you are seeing that you're gonna be taking uh, a, a chance at something, something that you may have prolonged. But let's take a look here at the High Priestess. She's coming in very strong. Now that she she's overlapping the Temperance and the Hierophant. So, and the Hangman comes after her. So your intuition, Gemini, is going to be kicking in high gear. You're going to, when you come across a particular opportunity, you're going to feel it's right. Okay. So look out for that. That's something, that's another sign that you may experience in this month. Your intuition is going to feel like it's right. Like, yes, lean into this a little bit more. This is the right time. You know, take it, go for it. <laughs> take the keys figuratively or literally speaking. Some of you too. Have you ever experienced that feeling where you're like, you know, I don't know why I feel like I need to go here or do this or connect with this person, but I'm feeling drawn or led to do that. That may be the feeling that you're going to um, encounter. Especially when I see the hangman here, it's like you're going to, some of you are going to have like an epiphany, okay? Especially being that it's diagonal from the Hierophant, you're going to have an epiphany, you're going to have a realization. Some of you are going to be opening up spiritually to getting a stronger spiritual connection with your deeper self. I also see here that you are, hmm, it could be you, Gemini, but I sense this may be another person. Someone here is seeing you differently. Like they're, it's almost like they're having a change of heart in a good way. Like they want to take you seriously or they want to jump in a relationship with you or they want to collaborate with you. Um, you're on someone's mind here, Gemini. 
Now, it doesn't have to be romantic. It could be business transaction, okay? Like the perfect pair, you with the perfect job or the perfect position, um, you for the perfect role. So someone here is waking up and realizing, you know what, Gemini would be the perfect person. So I see that here happening in uh, January, some of you. As we look at the Six of Pentacles, okay? When it comes to relationships, now I'm not only talking about romantic relationships, it could uh, tie into friendships or, you know, family ties to your focus. Some of you are realizing that you're only going to um, move on or continue relationships with those that matter and those that return value, Okay. And what I mean by that is you may, some of you also may realize that you have been giving a lot in a relationship and receiving not as much as you've been putting out, okay? Whether you are always extending your time, your energy, your money, your resources, your knowledge, your help. But are you receiving that in return? So I do see that there is awakening where you're like, you know what? Maybe I need to move on from this cut ties with this relationship, friendship, business ship, <laughs> because it's not giving me the equal equal. Okay. It's not giving me 50 50. It's giving me like 80 20% vibes. It's like you're putting 80% and getting 20%. That doesn't, that doesn't equal up. So the Six of Pentacles, it does have the equal uh, scale coming in here, showing that. Gemini, you are going to, you know, realize this is the, the year that you want that equal, equal, that 50, 50. You want to only align yourself with people that will put in just as much as you're willing to put in. And if not, then you're moving on. Uh, for others too, you may be finding that I'm, I'm, I'm sensing, and I also see like a lot of pentacle energy. So in January, there's like this energy of on the hunt or on the move or inspired to switch your career or your job. You could also be sensing that you're changing your business in a new direction because we have the death card coming in here showing like a, a rebirth, a reinvention, reincarnation. It's showing also an ending to the old and opening up the new and being that it's um, right in the middle here of your chariot and the seven of pentacles. Some of you are making new moves, okay? You are making new moves you are possibly going in a new uh, direction, in a new place, or in a new area where you can grow, okay? Where you can grow prosperous and abundantly. Now, as we look at the Eight of Pentacles too, that shows your dedication. There's a lot of um, energy showing determination and productivity. So... I wouldn't be surprised if you find yourself really busy this month in January, getting things squared away, getting things um, compiled and set up for the new year, for your new path. Even though you may not have all the answers, even though you may not know what that future is going to look like, there's something inside of you that you're passionate about what you're working towards and you will do it no matter how long or how late or um, how strenuous it may seem because you know it's building and it's investing in you in your future. Hmm. Very powerful here. So let's see, Gemini. For January. Let's get, let's see. We're looking at the Ten of Swords. We have the Four of Cups, King of Cups, and now we have the Six of Wands coming in. Okay, so we do see an ending taking place here. Now this ending for, for some of you, I see that it may have been, it's like you saw this coming, <laughs> Gemini. I mean, you're, you're faced up. So it's like you saw this coming here and I see that there have been multiple signs, okay, that were showing you, that were leading you, that something has to stop. Some of you, even your intuition told you like, Gemini, don't continue on. This isn't the, the move. This isn't it. Um, 
just be a little bit more patient. Something better will come along. But now with the tenth sword coming in, this is your confirmation. It's like, yep, boom, Gemini. This there's a a big ending happening. With this, this ending, it's it's closing a new chapter. Okay. And with that, it could be a relationship or someone in your life. It could also be something that you once did enjoy. Okay? You did enjoy this particular area. Um, but you're realizing, okay, that it's not best to continue on with this in 2023. Now, as we look at the Four of Cups, I see that some of you are wanting something different. You're wanting a switch up. You're wanting a change. You're tired of the same old, same old thing. And your taste buds, okay, your interests have shifted. So we see you elevating <laughs> your taste. We see you changing your preferences. Um, again, with that interest, it could be, again, who or what you've been engaged, engaging with. Okay, maybe you're tired of the same circle of friends. Maybe you're tired of the same activities or hobbies. It could be even, you know, like relationships or interests. Okay, because the cup energy does tap into your heart space. Cap um, why did I say Capricorn, Gemini? Ooh, maybe some of you are connecting with a Capricorn and you're tired of a Capricorn. <laughs> hmm. That was interesting how Capricorn wanted to come out. It could be some of you are connecting with a Capricorn. <laughs> Uh, especially like love, uh, love uh, wise, but uh, the four of cups, it's like you're over it. You're starting to see the light and your path is taking a, a new direction. I see here with the four of cups too, you're realizing it wasn't worth it. Something wasn't worth it. Like you thought it had high value or you thought it was worth consuming at the time again figuratively or literally speaking and now you're realizing no that's not my cup of tea i do not delight in this tea <laughs> um so as we look at the king of cups this is showing strong emotional security you know this is a good time for you singles to possibly find love Okay, I do see communication coming in here. And some of you are finding a, a, a mature love or a stable relationship because the King of Cups also uh, represents balance. And it is diagonal here from your Six of Pentacles showing balance. So whether that's emotional balance or again, remember 50-50, you're finding a relationship, whether it's romantic, friendship, or business ship, where it's balance. You're not 80% stressed out and 20%, you know, uh, you know, 20% uh, happy. It's balanced. It's like, okay, you do enough work, but you you are still um, happy and you have like a work-life balance or it's a, a friendship, right? It's like, you're not putting in everything and this person's putting in nothing. It's, they're putting in 50-50. Um, your energy and your time is not being wasted. It's not like you dedicating everything to something and not receiving anything in return. So there is this balance coming in here where you're going to be very emotionally uh, satisfied and pleased. Hmm. Now, as we look at the six of wands, this does show victory coming in here. It's showing you being seen, you being recognized. It's interesting too, because the um, if you notice these diagonal cards, they're on the move, Gemini. They're all on, you know, their, their horses or this one's in a chariot, but there's this energy of movement. So, and they're looking towards the new, the new direction. So I see here taking a new direction or taking a new approach or exploring that new path could lead you to being seen, being recognized, being happy, okay, uh, being very rewarding. The wand energy, especially when it comes to your creative pursuits, or your business, or your job, or your hobbies, it's, um, you know, energy. the energies here are saying, like, take a chance. You know, take a chance because you may find your community. You may find your tribe there, right? Like, your vibe will attract your tribe. You may find your interests. You may find that that's where you excel and that's where you do very, very well. It's interesting how we are seeing the doubles coming in here because we have like the, the double eights coming through. We have the double sixes coming through here. We have all these major arcanas. 
Let me pull, ooh, I was gonna say, let me pull one last card, but it looks like it already came out here for you. So we're looking at five of pentacles and the ace of cups. Now, Gemini, if you made it this far, comment down below and let me know. Comment down that you are my true MVV, my most valuable viewer. That way I know you actually did listen to this message in its entirety. But also, you know, we'll put out an intention and affirmation shortly that you can use in this month to motivate your, your path. The Five of Pentacles with the Ace of Cups, okay? It's showing here that the challenges are temporary for long-term success. Okay, so any struggle you're going through, any setback that you are experiencing, whether it's financially, emotionally, physically, it's saying here that it's temporary. It, you know, it cannot always snow and thunder and rain. It's just for the season. It's just for the day or even for the week. This is an example of short-term discomfort for long-term happiness. And the example I always give with the Five of Pentacles is like going to the gym, okay? It's uncomfortable. You may feel like you have to adapt to new ways, a new diet. Uh, you're stretching your muscles so you feel uneasy. Uh, you feel like it's strenuous and you're like, oh, when am I going to see results? But that short-term discomfort ultimately it's going to lead you to love yourself, love your health, you know, love the way you feel, love the way you look. So here it's saying, okay, if you want this end result, the ace of cups, especially in January, you are going to have to um, overcome and understand that the challenges that you face are just short term. Okay. Do not give up. Do not give up this, you know, there's a lot of love in this reading, this energy of love. So, you know, let us go ahead and put out this affirmation here for you, uh, Gemini, that you remain open to receive love in the highest form. Okay. And it doesn't have to be love because some of you already have that. It could be happiness. I remain open to receive happiness and love in the highest form. I remain open to receive love and happiness in the highest form because it doesn't have to be love. It could be happiness too. You know, you are wanting to feel content, feel balanced, feel connected. It may require you to work on yourself, work on your business, work on side hustles, work on relationships. Yes, it's no one wants to do the work because, you know, we don't always have all the answers. We may be intimidated. We may be afraid. It may seem like a long shot, but if you just go stick through it, at the end of this storm, okay, there is your oasis. So just because it is storming does not mean to give up on your garden. Gemini, thank you for being here. Stay tuned for more readings. And until then, stay well and be blessed.